What is up, Rumble? I'm here to speak on a subject that needs to be spoken on because everybody else is too much of a fucking bitch to speak on this matter. I, Chance Wilkins, am a victim of Music Biz Marty. I have been a victim of his since 2017. I started my YouTube career in 2010 on May 1st. Didn't think anything of it. Didn't think that anything bad would happen until it did. And over the years of being exploited by Music Biz Marty, this man has drove me to a place many times that I am not proud of. He has made me do things that I normally would not do out of desperation, out of fear, out of not knowing what to do. This man has threatened my life threatened to bomb my house, has exploited me multiple times, and I'm here to expose the tactics and the evil doings and the history of Music Biz Marty, whose real name is Nicholas C. Beagler. Now, a lot of people don't know, but Nick's wrong antics don't start on just with me. They don't just start on YouTube. Matter of fact, they trace back further to places like BitChute. And if y'all don't know, BitChute's been around for a very long time. And I do mean a very long time. Now, Nick, you claim that you're a good human, but really you're not. You're a fucking piece of shit. And I am tired of being silent. About what you have done to me. So I as a victim. Am coming forward and speaking out. For myself. And for other people that you have victimized. Over the years. See what people like Music Biz Marty do is they try to exploit people for money and views and they make hundreds and thousands of dollars doing this shit hundreds and thousands of dollars doing this shit and the way they do it is very simple they pretend to be your friend they approach you as wanting to be your friend promising you money Promising you a way to get bigger. Whether that be on YouTube. Whether that be on Twitch. Kick. Wherever your platform is. They make promises. To make you more famous. And that's what he did with me. Or tried to. And when I turned him down. And I told him no. I, can, I appreciate the help. But no thank you. I want to do this myself and grow my stuff organically. I don't want any kind of help. I want each person and each follower and each subscriber to be earned. I want to earn every one of those subscribers. I want to earn every one of those likes and those views. Well, when that didn't work, he tried to make a pass at me and what I mean by making a pass at me is he is bisexual and he made a romantic advance towards me when I was with my girlfriend Heather at the time and I turned him down and told him no well when I turned him down that time because I knew what this guy was about by this point I kind of figured it out and when I told him no, he proceeded to illegally entrap me 
by trying to make me look like a pedophile. And when that happened, that changed my whole world. He paid Mass Troll Mafia a very good amount of money to pretend to be an 18 year old female on a phone call and then turn around and pretend to be underage after certain images were sent between me and the person she was pretending to be. And ever since then, he had tried to exploit me for money and had exploited me for hundreds and hundreds and thousands of dollars in donations. And that's what people like Music Biz Marty do. They try to be nice to you and when you don't give them what they want, they will take it by making you look like shit and ruining your life. Now I've done some digging. I know for a fact. I know for a fact because I have seen it for myself. That I am not the only victim of this man. There are hundreds of other people that he has victimized since 2005. When he started his career on the internet. This man has victimized and bullied and extorted a lot of people. People that are too scared to come forward and speak. Because they are afraid of what he can do and what he would do to them. With me, he's gone a very long ways with me because he knows that I am not scared of him. He knows that I am not afraid of him. This man has threatened to bomb my house in the last few weeks, many times now. To the point to where it was so bad that me and my family had to pack up some of our stuff and leave in our van. We literally had to pack up what we could and leave. And the worst part about it all over the last seven years that this has gone on for me, the police or any form of authorities have refused to help. The only reason why I have acted out in the ways that I have over the last seven years isn't this because it's who I am. No, because that's not who I am. I acted out those ways out of fear. Because I just wanted this man to leave me alone. I wanted this man and his friends to back off and leave me alone. But he refused. He has now not only targeted me, he is beginning to target my friends because I flat out told everybody that I am retiring as a content creator. So this, this is not me posting as a content creator. This is me posting as a victim of Music Biz Marty. This is me posting as a victim. Now yes, I have said death threats to him many times. And I am not, I am not ashamed of those death threats. I am not. Because as a human being, I would do whatever I need to. To protect my family from harm. I would do anything if it meant keeping my family safe. I would actually kill somebody if it came down to it, if I needed to. I don't want to, but I would do everything I could to protect my family to make sure that they're safe from evil monsters like Music Biz Marty. And the sad thing is, social media platforms promote this kind of garbage. The same kind of garbage that makes these people bigger is the same kind of garbage that victimizes so many families and so many people. At one point in my career as a social media content creator, 
I have began my journey on Twitch as a full-time streamer. And thanks to a former friend of mine, Chris, who now goes by now with the Red Panda on Twitch, I was doing quite well for myself. I was making $150 a day, doing very good, and was on the road to success to where I was doing something I fully enjoyed and that I loved. But because I was trying to break away from Music Biz Marty by doing that, he decided to mass report me and make it look like I was doing things that I was not, in fact, doing. And as a result, I lost my career with Twitch. I lost my sponsors that I had. I lost everything that I had worked so hard to build. And as a result of this man's doings, it is very hard for me to do anything now. It really is very hard for me to do anything. So like I said, this post to Rumble, this is not me as a content creator. This is me as a human being. As a victim of Music Biz Marty speaking out against what he and his little friends have done to myself and so many other people. This man tried to get two special needs individuals who were very highly special needs. Who could not tell right from wrong. Who were not able to make very good judgment calls due to them being special needs. He tried to get them to drink bleach for views. Because he claimed that one who was just being a fucking smart ass to somebody in his chat that was a very rude individual like the person in this person's chat was being a very rude individual and he was this the dude was being a smart ass to him talking shit saying that oh I yeah I, I really did this to my sister and I did this and I did that and Marty believed it Marty truly believed that this man was a pedophile and was into incest. But really the guy was being a smartass to some fucking weirdo in his chat that was talking shit. And once Marty found this out, he tried to get the drug guy to drink bleach. He also did it with another individual who has highly special needs as well. And more recently, he tried to get my very good longtime friend Charity to commit suicide. Because he found out where she lived, kidnapped her dog, and killed her dog when she was at work. And then, as a result of that, of her now responding to that, he then ramped it up and called Children Protective Services on charity to have her nephew, who was in her legal care at the time, to be taken away. This man called CPS on my friend Charity and had her nephews taken away from her. And as a result of those things, she got so fucking depressed and so scared that she actually wrote a note that to this day will haunt me forever. And after she wrote that note, she had attempted suicide by trying to OD on pain meds. She had swallowed several bottles of pain meds to try to kill herself. But thanks to a few friends of mine that found out her actual address, they managed to get EMS there just in time. And she is currently in recovery and on the road to recovery. 
I myself was pushed to suicide be because of this man. I had attempted to, to take my own life and unalive myself twice in a row because of this man. And you know what really grinds my gears about all of this shit? What really grinds my gears about all this is that these kinds of people like Marty and all of his friends and the Volcow and the troll community YouTube promotes this trash. Social media promotes this kind of garbage. And it's honestly sad. It is truly, truly, truly fucking sad. And whenever someone, the worst part is, whenever someone tries to get away after being victimized, when somebody like myself tries to get away, they then attack them in real life. They will proceed to shut them up by, like I said before, trying to mass report them when they speak out. They will go against YouTube's terms of service by putting false information whenever somebody does a DMCA on them, which if you don't know what a DMCA is, that's basically a takedown request. It's basically a copyright infringement strike on their channel. These people put falsified information to be able to get away with it. People like this need to be stopped. People like Marty and the troll community and the low cow community need to be shut down. Because I have found hundreds and thousands of people that are too scared to speak out that this man has victimized. Some of them I have seen firsthand. Like with the two individuals that I spoke about that are special needs. And many other people. Who are not bad people. So all I'm saying y'all. Is I Chance Wilkins. And speaking out. For the cancellation. Of Music Biz Marty. And the troll community. And for YouTube. And social media to be held responsible. For what's going on on their platform. These people need to be held responsible. These platforms should be made to be responsible for what's going on because they are allowing this on their platform. Therefore, they are just as much at fault for allowing this kind of behavior and this kind of stuff to happen. Therefore, I, Chance Wilkins, am voting yes to cancel Music Biz Marty, the troll community, and yes, to making social media being held responsible for what goes on on their channel. And for the victimization that has occurred with many people.